Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 ranking video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be ranking all the Left 4 Dead 2 commercials from worst to best. I would like to note two things, by the way, is that number one, these are going to be all Left 4 Dead commercials that I was able to find that were made for specifically the United States, and I'm not going to be listing any of them that are from foreign countries outside the United States. The second thing I also want to specify is that I'm also not going to be including gameplay trailers. I'm only specifically including them if they are going to end up having like an ad or something like that in them, but I'm mostly just doing flat out commercials. So essentially, this is going to be like a little bit of a preview of gameplay, and then it's going to say at the end like Left 4 Dead 2 available on the Xbox 360 by now stuff like that you know what I mean you can obviously tell the difference between a commercial and a pure on game trailer now, when it comes to these commercials, I'm going to be ranking them off of a couple of different things. That Number one, I'm going to be ranking them off of whether or not that I would genuinely buy the game based off of watching this commercial. Like, how much does it encourage me to end up buying the game, basically. The second thing I'm going to be basing it off is that, how good is the marketing in said commercial? Do I understand what's going on in the commercial? Do I know what they're exactly advertising? Do I know exactly what it is that they're trying to show off here? What, like, what's the main agenda? And then lastly, is going to be how much it can hold my attention. How boring or how entertaining entertaining is said commercial because I'm pretty sure we have all had commercials that are very forgettable and we only end up really remembering the really good ones or the really bad ones it made me think about like what makes a good commercial and in fact let me know what you guys think makes a good commercial because I'm curious because that's what we're gonna be kind of looking at here today is not only just like what's a good left or dead commercial but what is a good commercial in general I'm pretty sure we've all had those weird ads that have like been on YouTube and stuff like that where you just have no idea what the hell is going on Hello! Hi, I'm Generic Businessman 50862 here, and you look, you could use some bullshit. You ever have a moment where you want to end up having a spending binge, where you end up just wasting your money on some frivolous crap that you're never going to use in 30 years? Then I'm your guy! Hi, I'm Thaddeus Dick, and I'm here to end up helping you. For just a small fee of $49.99, I will personally show up to your house and just give you a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need! Need a pillow pet to give to your nephew when they've been irrelevant for 10 years? Call me! In a barbed wire baseball bat where people are going to question where the blood came from? I'm your guy. Or maybe you're just one of those people that just want nude photos of Fortnite characters to jerk off to. Remember, for just a small fee of $100,000, I can help you with that. But wait, if you call in the next 6.9 seconds, we'll throw in this pair of random underwear from wherever the hell I got it absolutely for free. You can maybe use it as an air freshener. <sighs> No amount of therapy will ever make that okay. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, for just a small fee of your eternal soul, I can help you with all your unnecessary BS needs. Remember, if you want to end up getting help right now with fulfilling absolutely nothing meaningful in your life, I can help you at this very moment. If you want to end up getting some help, feel free to call 1-800-BS-AND-CO, or if you want to, you can go and visit our website, bsandco.com slash godhelpmeplease.com. Thank you. Alrighty guys, thank you to our sponsor BS and Co. And let's get on with today's ranking video. Alrighty guys, so here is the first commercial. Now a lot of these do have copyrighted music and I do not have the rights to it. So I'm just going to be talking over it while the gameplay is muted. This is going to end up containing the song Electric Worry by Clutch. And this is going to be showing off basically highlights of the trailer. It's also going to even be showing kind of like annotations that we've never seen before that indicate interesting things, which I'm not exactly sure are going to be canonical to the story, or more rather if they are for marketing purposes. Shortly after the game specifies that you can play with your friends in a co-op setting, it says you can kill up to 10 million zombies. Now this might just be a random number for marketing reasons, or it could be canonical to the story, but Technically, if you end up having people always getting infected, then this number is going to be like fluctuating up and down all the time, or at least rather, I don't think it's going to be exactly 10 million, but maybe that's just me being nitpicky. However, though, I do think that the commercial is entertaining nonetheless. They have a really good song in the background. It's just a shame I can't play because of copyright. However, though, it is worth giving a listen to down below in the description because I will link all the commercials for you guys so that way you can listen to them in their original state yourselves. Alrighty guys, now this is going to be a Left 4 Dead 1 trailer, and this Left 4 Dead 1 trailer is really cool. It once again has a really catchy song, but unfortunately is copyrighted. The song is going to be called Train to Miami, which is by Steel Pole Bathtub. I know it sounds like a really weird name, but that's just the name, and the song is really, really catchy. Uh, there's a really specific verse that's like, uh, these are my friends now, and they're really, really cool, and it is fitting for the gameplay because it's like, you know, talking about like friends and all that stuff, and it's really emphasizing the cooperative parts, plus also just like this. 
rated M for mature. I know that sounds silly, but I just really like the stereotypical, like, rated M for mature guy. Like, I don't know why. His, his voice is super, like, action movie. Like, it's like the same satisfaction you get from listening to the EA Sports in the game, like, guy, you know? So that's just something that I think is a cool attention to detail. And it generally is an entertaining commercial, extremely catchy song. Really puts a lot of emphasis on the gameplay. I really know what they're trying to market here, you know, being a cooperative zombies experience. And overall, the commercial is extremely solid. I really like it. Now, this is one that doesn't have any copyright music as far as I am aware. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the flat out commercial for this next one. Looks like the team is getting together for a little powwow. Yeah, they're in a real jam here, Skipper. You said it. Their opponents tonight are a real hungry bunch. Their intensity is infectious. Well, it appears the coach has a plan. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Oh, boy. That's a home run. Pre-order Left 4 Dead 2 at GameStop and get an exclusive in-game baseball bat. Power to the players. Rated M for Mature. Now, this commercial is probably going to raise a lot of questions for those of you guys that have never seen it before. The main thing you're probably going to be wondering right away is, what the heck does GameStop mean by exclusive in-game baseball bat? The baseball bat was supposed to be an exclusive thing for GameStop. Well, yes, originally that was the intended purpose. However, though, it never went through. The baseball bat just ended up being a melee weapon that was available to everybody, and these plans were scrapped. However, though, it was originally going to meant to end up being an exclusive weapon, which would have been really weird because that would be the first and the only weapon in Left 4 Dead history I can think of that would have been exclusive if you had a certain version of the game. Now, keep in mind that it would have just been the baseball bat. It's not the best melee weapon. It most certainly is not. However, though, it would have been interesting to have one of the weapons be locked behind like a DLC code or something. Having a baseball setting in the Dark Carnival concert area is very interesting and it's kind of cute you know it's like it's very silly but it's a little bit weird I'm not gonna lie. I think it would have been best that they would have just played the normal Midnight Riders music and was just killing zombies and almost kind of had to be like a gameplay trailer but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of all these commercials so far down below in the comments though. Now guys in my opinion for the number one commercial this is going to be this commercial right here on screen. Now, unfortunately, the music is once again copyright. However, though, there will be a link down below in the description to the original video so you guys can see it for what it is because it basically is a perfect commercial. It shows a whole bunch of epic moments from the Left 4 Dead trailer. It ends up having all the characters saying one of their in-game voice lines. And I think that they chose really good voice lines specifically for this commercial because they really capture the essence of all the characters. It shows gameplay highlights. It shows what the game is about. You get to almost like know who the characters are just straight off the rip. It's showing that it's a zombie game. It's making it crystal clear. It's putting emphasis on the fact that it's cooperative. That is crystal clear. And overall, the trailer slash the like gameplay trailer makes a really great commercial and it's just really fun to watch. It's really fun to be entertained by this. Kind of ties up Left 4 Dead in this nice big bow. And overall, in my opinion, this is the best commercial for Left 4 Dead. All right, guys, now I know this might sound like a shock, but this is going to be the end of the video. These were all the specific commercials I decided to include in the video. Like I said, I only included ones from the United States, and I also only included ones that were basically just going to be a certain set of criteria. So I hope you guys understand why I picked these four. But if you guys end up having any other commercials you want to refer me to, just in case you want to like have them be like honorable mentions like in the comment section or something like that, by all means, please definitely like let me know. I would definitely love to see some other types of Left 4 Dead commercials. If you guys end up enjoying today's video and you guys want to see more Left 4 Dead rankings, please by all means end up dropping a like, comment, and subscribe to show you guys support. If you guys would like to financially support the channel, I tremendously appreciate it. You guys could go check out my Patreon. It's always linked down below in all my YouTube video descriptions. Or you guys can use supporter creator code Black Ninja 797 all caps in the Fortnite Epic Games item shops because Epic is my very first sponsor and they're sponsoring today's video. So shout out to Epic Games. And if you guys want to check out the last ranking video where I ranked all the scavenge maps in Left 4 Dead, there will be an end card at the end of the video here. But I hope you guys end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTubers are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you, and peace out. Hey, meme lords. Jesus here. And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe, too. Or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it, too. And... Give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom.